Sasaki. Uh, he's a real star, without a doubt, the king of skateboarding today, and huge in Japan. Tim, you can land the gnarliest tricks with, with very little effort. Yeah, you know, you can make the skateboarding look just effortless without even trying, you know, he's just an amazing talent to watch. You know, the kid's got abilities that uh, you can only dream of. Yeah, he's one in a million. Right now, I'd have to say he's the uh, most sought after talent in the sports world today. How do you create a skateboarding superstar? How do you create a superstar? Well, in the case of uh, Tim Okazaki, I'm the one to answer that. Uh, I'm his mother and manager. So if I don't know, then no one does. Tim was born in America. Uh, my husband, Yuki, and I moved over to America from uh, Japan uh, for a new life for the children. <laughs> Tim was not that into skateboarding uh, as a young boy. He wasn't uh, all that keen on it, uh, but I made him do it. Starting your skateboarding. I bought Tim a skateboard and uh, he was very uncoordinated as a young boy. There's other boys your age much better than you. I found that uh, through my own demonstration, uh, I was able to teach him balance. I basically uh, taught Tim how to skate. I would uh, drive Tim to the skate park and uh, supervise his training. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, work for you to become a champion skateboarder. Tim started to win competition for one reason alone, because of my hard work and commitment and because I never gave up. I just love skateboarding. I like nailing tricks. I like grinding on rails. I like landing them. It just feels great. But if I didn't win a competition, I'd sort of get like depressed and my mom would, would sort of lose it. But it was sort of good in a way because it, it made me want to get better. I mean, I wanted to be the best. I told Tim if he did not succeed at skateboarding, then I would kill myself. Uh, that's uh, r lucky for me, Tim did succeed or else he would have a, a dead mother on his hands. I met him a, a few times, you know, and he just seemed like a, a regular American little kid, you know, and then, uh, for some reason, he started to sound more and more Japanese. I wanted to get the media on side and uh, to get their attention. Uh, I thought it would, if he sounds more like a, a little Japanese boy, that uh, they would find him more interesting, more cute, you know? And I have to say, after a little bit of training vocally, Tim really picked it up. Thank you very much. And uh, the media, they fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. My mom trained me to speak more Japanese. It seemed to work because that's when I got really big in Japan. Yeah, before Tim, I'd say skating wasn't even uh, even that big in Japan, you know? He sort of exploded onto the, the Japanese scene. They don't even realize that he's American, you know? But he's, he's huge over there. I uh, moved my family from Santa Barbara to Tokyo for Tim, for Tim around. The money uh, was no no, not in the equation. Although, I have to admit that having the money now is, is not uh, such a bad thing. I wouldn't say I love it here in Japan. I miss my friends, and having to pretend you're Japanese when you're not is a little weird. How old you all my fans? But if I get to skate, then the rest I can handle. Go, how do you feel? Go me! 